Hello everyone, welcome to Growth Partners. In this video, we'll see how to import bank statement from Excel to Tally. So we had to purchase add-ons before this release to import Excel, uh, import data from Excel to Tally. But now, since uh, Tally has launched Tally 4.0, we don't have to buy any add-on. We can use the default Tally 4.0 version to import data from Excel to Tally. So in case you have uh, net banking, you can easily download uh, Excel version of your bank statement from your uh, net banking and then I'll show you the procedure of how do you import the bank statement into tally so we have to go to import option and here since we want to import the transactions I'll click on transactions and here we have to first download the sample Excel file so sample Excel file so sample for all accounting vouchers and I've given the path where I want to download this I'll click on export this is how the sample Excel file looks these are all the data this is all the data which we'll have to fill in for the import i have uh, to save the time i have a pre-filled data i'll just show you so this is the pre-filled data bank statement to be imported i'll open this so this is the data what we what i filled the voucher date is mandatory so 27th of november i've given as voucher date and the type of voucher receipt so here we have to be very careful about the spelling if the spellings are wrong it will not pick up uh, in tally and then i've given voucher number and here I've given the, both the ledgers. So here since it's a receipt, so I've given HDFC bank as debit and customer one as credit. The amount I've taken as 5,000 rupees. And uh, supplier one I have given and then I have taken one payment transaction. So supplier one and HDFC bank I have taken 15,000, 15,000 debit and credit. I've taken debit and credit. So we can fill all these details if in case applicable. Since we have only few details in the bank statement, we can do this. We can just copy those details here and we can fill it up. And then I'll just save this and I'll close this. I'll close this template file as well. Now I'll show you how to import. We have to go to import option here. And then if you want to import ledgers or stock items, we have to go to masters. Since here we want to import transactions as such. So we'll go to transactions. And here we have to select that particular file. So here we can see bank statement to be imported. I'll select this file. It's accounting voucher is the worksheet name. And then this is the default template. And I'll say yes. So here as you can see, we get an import summary. So it's very important to go through the import summary always. So it gives us the data, uh, a view of what is getting imported. So here as we can see, import data from row number 2 to 5. Since the first row was the header, so we don't want to import the header. And so it says it will import from row... Uh, import data from row number two to five and then it says transaction period so this is the transactions date what i've entered and that's uh, taken up here and import data from column a to q now here even though we have filled the data in only four or five columns it will import all the columns because that is how tally would read the template now i'll click on import and it's done so it is so easy to import bank statement statement from tally to from excel to tally now let's see if the entries are available here. I'll go to display more report. I'll go to statements of accounts. I'll go to statistics. And here you can see in payment we have one entry of 27 November. It's payment to supplier one. The amount is 15,000 rupees. And in receipt let us check. In receipt there is one entry. It's received from customer one. And the amount is 5,000 rupees. It's very easy for us to import from Excel to Tally now. So now we don't have to spend endless amount of time in just uh, entering the Excel data into Tally. There's another option what a lot of uh, our clients are planning to use. They would import all the entries into Suspense, whether receipt or payment. They would import all the entries into Suspense in case you think it will be difficult for you to have the exact spelling in Tally. So in Excel, so you can just write it as Suspense and you can just import it for once. And then once you import it, all the entries would be lying in suspense and you can just go on uh, marking it to the right ledger and you're still you could save a lot of time in uh, entering the bank transactions into tally so i hope this video is very clear for all of you and still if you have any queries with regards to import you can call us on the number given in the description box and our team will guide you thank you have a beautiful day